Hi viewers, uh, good afternoon or good morning wherever you are. So today is the Macquarie University information session and especially this is for Middle Eastern students. So we invited all the students uh, who applied for Macquarie University in the future term from Middle East region. So uh, thank you so much for joining. So my name is Tanvish Shahid. I'm the regional director for South Asia and Middle East from the university. So I will uh, try to give you some more information today. Also uh, the process of admission, the scholarship opportunities and uh, your future career outcomes. So the first information I like to highlight today is more about uh, Australia like what is in for uh, international student for you in Australia. So recently the Australian government has put lots of favorable uh, government policy as you can see in your screen. Uh, the first thing is I would say that uh, the very uh, good message from the Australian government for international students uh, to build a streamlined visa process. So what it means that you can actually apply for visa from sitting at your home. So this is quite user friendly. You can upload your all the documents uh, online or uh, your representatives uh, can do it on behalf of you. So that's the first one. The other one, the post study work visa, which a couple of years back, the Australian government uh, has given to all the international students irrespective of your courses. So, which eventually UK used to have that, but now they closed, but Australia has opened it. So it means that if you do a bachelor or master's degree, at least two years full time in Australia, after that you can apply for a two years work visa in Australia. Even if you apply for, uh, say, for PhD, you can stay in Australia under this work visa arrangement for four years. So these are the very positive messages from Australian government. So certainly it's a very beneficial for international students like you. And uh, another point I'd like to highlight that you can work in Australia while studying. So it means that uh, you not only work in on campus, but you can work actually off campus as well. So, which is bit better than even few other countries like USA, where you can only work on campus. But in Australia, you can able to work off campus the day you start your journey with the universities. So these are the very top level uh, advantages for international students in Australia. Apart from, I can also highlight, as you can see that I, I mentioned that Australia is one of the safest country in the world. The lifestyle is quite high. It is one of the lowest crime rate among the OECD countries. So uh, certainly Australia is not in heaven, but if you use your basic common sense, what you generally do in your country, if you follow those steps, then certainly uh, you wouldn't have any problem. And there are lots of people uh, from abroad, like our recent census so showed that 49% of Australian population uh, actually uh, either they're born overseas or one of their parents born overseas. So it's a very multicultural country. Um, you will feel certainly a home of a home in Australia. Uh, another highlight I'd like to mention here, um, Australia, we have 43 universities and out of 43 universities, almost 20 universities are among the top 500 ranked universities in the world, whether it's a QS or a Times Higher Education ranking. So you can certainly see that the, it's a big testimony for the Australian education, having the top ranked universities situated in Australia, only among the 43 universities. So certainly that's a big uh, boost for you while you are choosing Australia as a destination. Lastly, I'd like to highlight its uh, starting salary for our graduates and lots of part-time job opportunities are there. Uh, generally in Australia, we see that we say uh, $53,000 uh, per year salary is an average graduate salary. 
because that is the time when uh, uh, the Australian, the domestic student, start paying their fee help money to their government. So generally, the graduate salary is among around that much. So which is very high in compared to Canada, USA, and many other countries. And lots of part-time job opportunities. Being the international student, you can avail those job opportunities not only on campus but off campus as well. And uh, weather is really good in australia the city like melbourne sydney brisbane these are the, uh, one of the best livable cities in the uh, these are the livable cities not only uh, that big beauty of the natures but also i would say that weather they don't have this this city's never had a snowfall uh, the weather around 300 days uh, out of 365 days is around 25 degrees or we don't have the extreme heat or even minus degrees like Canada or other uh, countries uh, in Europe. So yep, Australia is quite favorable weather. You need to uh, consider uh, certainly the weather when you are thinking to stay here for two, three years uh, for your study. And uh, another big uh, interesting fact about Australia is we have uh, around 25 million people, whereas we have 40 million kangaroos. So uh, certainly more kangaroos than uh, humans. So th the Australia is a country, they're certainly looking for more human and more young people like you. So certainly uh, as an international student, uh, you are always welcome. Uh, we have over 500,000 international students at this moment in Australia. So um, every 50 people in Australia, there is one international student. So uh, in the world, you won't find such a high ratio of international students uh, in the country. So certainly Australia is a very favorable destination in the world, one of the top three best uh, uh, destinations for international students. So these are the uh, big pictures about Australia. Now I would like to focus today uh, more about uh, university where you have applied already and you might have received the offer letter or your offer letter is in the process with us. Uh, the university is Macquarie University. This university is uh, over 50 years age, uh, more uh, point, uh, we can say that 1964, the university been established. And uh, we have now over 3000 staff, 40,000 students, including 10, over 10,000 international students. We have around, uh, I would say that around 1000 students from Middle East region and uh, certainly it's located, uh, this university is in Sydney. Uh, it's a, one of the beautiful parkland, uh, over 126 hectare land, which is uh, around 334 acre land of uh, green parkland. We even have a, a lake inside the university. So uh, very soon I will show you a few campus photographs but uh, certainly it's uh, one of the biggest campus in Sydney based university. And uh, this is uh, one of the picture I like to show you today, uh, the, uh, the area of the Harbor, the Sydney Harbor area. You can see that uh, the Opera House, uh, the iconic beauty of Sydney and the Harbor Bridge as well. Uh, as you know that Sydney is uh, one of the most desirable student choice for international students. And uh, even all the years ranking, like whether it's a QS Best Students uh, Cities ranking 2017 or 18, Sydney is always one of the top three uh, in the last few years for International Student Survey. So I have a wonderful uh, minute video for you. I hope you will love it. Uh, let's have a look of Sydney's uh, few pictures.
Yeah, there is uh, nothing like Australia. So now um, I'm coming back to uh, exact location of Macquarie University. As you can see in this uh, slide, the university is located in uh, near about the north side of the town. And uh, it's uh, called uh, Macquarie Park, or it's uh, surrounded by a few uh, suburbs like Marsfield, uh, North Ride area. And also we do have a, a city campus, which is in uh, the downtown. You can see that at the center of uh, the map, the Sydney city campus of the university. So uh, yeah, you can stay on campus. We do have uh, over 3000 beds on campus at various different types, but certainly you can stay anywhere in Sydney. And uh, we do have our own train station, like it's a, one of the very few train stations the Australian University have and Macquarie University is only one having its own named train station. So the picture next to the map, you can see that the train station, so you can stay anywhere within 30 to 40 minutes, you can be on campus. Uh, if you like to stay with your relatives or friends, um, yeah, for various reasons. But again, we do have on-campus accommodation facilities as well. The next slide is uh, the proper picture, the bird's eye view of the campus. As you can see that from the left side, uh, you can see that uh, Macquarie Graduate School of Management and all the way to on the right side, you will see that uh, our sports center, the aquatic centers, the swimming pool. So uh, it's, um, as I said earlier, that it is 126 hectare of land. The train station, you can see that in the middle, uh, it uh, train comes uh, underground. Uh, it's like a metro, as you see tell in your country. So metro type of train, it comes uh, every 10, 15 minutes, there is some sort of train which connects rest of the Sydney. Uh, also, this uh, university is surrounded by over 300 uh, multinational companies or the big techno tech companies like Microsoft or Singtel Optus, Johnson & Johnson, Sony, uh, Fujitsu. So these are the uh, few of the many names uh, surrounded by this university. And uh, certainly our students uh, like you, uh, they do take the internship lots of uh, real world assignment or the projects do take this from these companies or even the academics and the researchers work very closely with these sort of companies and uh, certainly do their lots of research uh, with these companies. Like one of the uh, companies, few of the areas I will come back to later with CSIRO, but now I like to highlight here about the university's global ranking in various types of rankings. One of the big ranking is uh, QS world ranking, as you know. In the last QS ranking, our 10 subjects rank top 100 globally, or even if you say that the star rating for the QS universities, uh, university uh, have five out of five QS sisters in all the eight subcategories like teaching, employability, research, internationalization, facilities, innovation, or even excess and specialist subjects. Uh, again, uh, the academic ranking, as you said, that the Shanghai Ziaotong uh, ARW ranking, it put uh, Macquarie University among the top 200 in the world, top 10 in Australia. So again, that's a huge boost for the university, as you can understand. Financial Times ranking, uh, our uh, MBA is ranked number one and uh, top 50 in the worldwide. Uh, on the other side, the Times Higher Education ranking, it says that top 50 most international university in the world. Uh, even the research uh, ranking uh, in Australia, it calls ERA, Excellence in Research for Australia. The last uh, ranking, it goes every three years. So we uh, have our last ranking in Australia for 2015. And in that ranking, 100% of our research rated the world standard or even higher uh, than the world standard by the Australian government. So uh, certainly you can understand that out of these 43 universities, this university is among the top 10 ranked university. 
So uh, it's a better the ranking, and as you can understand, the better the employability opportunity in the future, better the infrastructure on the campus. So it comes with lots of advantages for students like you. Now, these are the uh, very broad categories of the, uh, our areas of excellence. Like Macquarie University, they do offer all the courses, what you can think of, and I'm sure you have already applied for any one of them. Uh, so, like, the, we have the courses under the business, education, uh, engineering and IT, or even environment, health or medical science. You can see that the university offers the law and criminology, even the media, creative arts, communication, science, society, history, and uh, MBA sort of courses. So uh, as I said that, whatever you can imagine, this university do offer all those courses. These are the, again, the next slide is containing a few of the companies of many partnerships we do have. Uh, a um, few of them are Microsoft or Glasgow or Deloitte, which uh, you have in your country also. One of the companies I was uh, highlighting earlier, that CSIRO, uh, Macquarie University has a, a big partnership with CSIRO over the last few decades. And one of the innovation which came up with the research with CSIRO was uh, the Wi-Fi technology, what you are using every day uh, to, uh, in your, through your mobile or anywhere. So uh, yeah, the university and the CSIRO was a pioneer to invent the WLAN chip uh, and which is today's Wi-Fi technology. So always remember uh, Macquarie University when you use your mobile phone and use the Wi-Fi technology. The next slide I like to highlight about the university's breadth. Uh, all these courses, this university offer through these five faculties, uh, Faculty of Arts, Faculty of Business and Economics, Human Science, Medicine and Health Science, and Science and Engineering. So all these five faculties, they've been headed by the deans, and then there are the staff and the academics are running these courses. So I'm not going in details about each of the faculties, but I'm just showing you quickly uh, few names like just to under showing you the breadth of this university because it's a comprehensive university it is not only a university for engineering or arts or human science it is literally having a very comprehensive university in your countries like those big public university you have in your respective countries uh, in the faculty of arts we, uh, this university offers from ancient history anthropology till this uh, uh, criminology, security studies, and law, all these areas, under the business and economics, uh, from accounting till economics, marketing management. In accounting, uh, one of the big uh, credit of this university, of course, is accounting department is one of the top 100 in the world, but they do offer one very unique course is called uh, CPA, and um, which is a Master of Accounting CPA practice. And uh, here, uh, our students, they do much higher, much higher passing grades than the national average. They're, uh, just for an example, in front of you, you can see the slide that the 87% is the passing rate in compared to 69% of the Australian average. Or you can see that, 26% uh, is the uh, are the people who have been graduated with the distinction and high distinction in compared to 14% national average. So yeah, the uh, courses like accounting CPA or even the MBA, uh, which run by Macquarie Graduate School of Management under the Faculty of Business and Economics, is ranked number literally number one in Australia, and. Uh, uh, yeah, among the top 50 in the world, uh, whether you call it with the Financial Times 2017 ranking or the Economics Which MBA ranking. In the Faculty of Human Sciences, uh, the, the, we do offer lots of cognitive science areas, education, linguistic psychology programs, Faculty of Medicine, even we have the Doctor of Medicine or the Master of Medicine. Also, we do have the uh, other areas, neurosurgery and those uh, very specialist area because Macquarie University is only one 
private university which is located in the uh, in our campus so uh, we are very lucky to have this private uh, university which is called Macquarie University Private Hospital on campus so we are offering lots of medical and health science uh, courses. One of the uh, very popular course in uh, your uh, country is Master of Public Health, uh, which falls under this faculty. Faculty of Science and Engineering, uh, very popular, very demanding from your country, and uh, lots of engineering courses, the Bachelor of Engineering or the Master of Engineering. Uh, they do offer the Master of IT or Master of Data Science. Uh, also, they do have uh, the biological sciences and chemistry and physics, uh, all these uh, science and engineering courses under this faculty. Now, uh, coming back to the campus features, over $1 billion has been invested recently at Macquarie University uh, by building the training station or the hospital. As I said, that uh, this is the university uh, having the uh, private hospital. Uh, even this university in the, the picture, which is in the middle, uh, it, it is the library, uh, a fantastic five-star rated uh, library inside the campus. I will very soon will show you uh, the video of our library, but uh, here on the left side, you can see that the train station and uh, in the upper left, uh, that's uh, MUIS, which is the student area uh, where the students gather and do their study. Uh, over there. Again, more pictures as you can see that the um, recreational areas, swimming pools, and even the cafeterias, and lots of clubs and societies. Like I like to highlight here that we do have uh, lots of clubs, including the cultural and the religious and the country specific clubs. Uh, like, for an example, Saudi Arabian Student Association, Lebanese Student Association. Uh, we are recently going to form the Iranian Student Association. So there are lots of uh, uh, country-based clubs out there where the uh, senior students do help the new uh, students uh, for uh, welcoming them during the orientation time. And uh, certainly they work as their mentor as well. So yeah, we ha have those clubs and also the formal clubs, student clubs are there, the, like a business club, uh, and lots of different other clubs are there, like uh, rowing club, the sporting, so football, soccer clubs, those sort of clubs are there as well for the students. Now, this is a very uh, uh, unique thing at Macquarie University, as I have told you, that university has a, a robotic library. This is the first automated robotic library in Australia. Uh, so if you ask me, the one of the very important reason to join at Macquarie University, I would say that visit our university library, which use the robots literally, uh, magnetic arms to retrieve the books. So here is the a minute video for Macquarie University Library. It's the most striking building on campus and Macquarie University Library houses the first automated storage and retrieval system in an Australian library. 17,000 metal pins are stacked four storeys high, taking up far less space than traditional library shelves. The system has freed up space in the library for our students to study and collaborate. You can request items from the automated retrieval collection housed in the system or help yourself to the most commonly used items that have been kept on library shelves. With the storage system, the library is able to house its entire physical collection on site and protect it in a purpose-built climate-controlled box with enough room for it to grow over the next 40 years. But best of all, it's quick, efficient and simple to use. You know if an item is in the automated retrieval collection once you find it in the multi-search. Just look for its location. Then, simply click the request link. Requests can be made from home or anywhere you can access the internet. It's really that simple. Your request is conveyed directly to the automated retrieval collection and a robotic crane will swing into action. It selects the bin containing the item you want and brings it to a staff member. The item is then ready for you to collect.
Macquarie University Library, a truly 21st century learning and research environment. Is it not great? So the university has spent over $100 million to build this library. So what we expect from you that you come to the library, you order the books, uh, within half an hour, that is the service level agreement in between the library and the students or staff even. You get the, your book and then you read the book for maybe half an hour, a couple of hours. You return the book, you order another few books. So the whole environment is that the reading environment, like where you will have literally 1.8 million books or materials uh, with you all the time. Uh, you are literally sitting with this number of books and materials and any time you can order the books, um, even while you are in the class, uh, while the lecturers are delivering the lectures and telling you that you need to order the books, you can order the books from your mobile phone and the book will be ready uh, by the time you walk towards the library. So uh, these are the advantage uh, and one of these uh, key feature of this university is its library. And uh, certainly, as I told you that the better the ranking, better the employability uh, rate, and then the infrastructure, which few of them I have shown you over the pictures, and also the quality of our academics and the way they teach, all these things ending up uh, the future career for you. So here is the slide for you where you can see that where our uh, graduates are working um, across the world. So the few of the companies, as you can see them, that whether it's a World Bank or whether it's a uh, Microsoft or whether it's a Google or Amazon, so many places our students are currently working. So I hope that in the future, you can also work one of these companies um, for your future careers. Now I'm coming back more on the entry requirement. Uh, I will quickly go through a few of these slides because uh, uh, it depends on the personal circumstances. You can uh, ask me your questions at later of this uh, presentation. So we, uh, we can discuss more about your unique situation. So this is a bit of more generic one for, the first slide is for undergraduate students. Uh, under the business courses, uh, this university offering this sort of courses like actuarial studies or applied finance or bachelor of commerce with lots of specializations. Um, and uh, in Australia, the bachelor degrees are generally three years and it is recognized. I know that in your countries, the bachelor degrees might be four years or five years, but in Australia, UK, they, they still follow uh, the Boolean model. So where the bachelor degrees are three years and masters are two years, Few of the bachelor degrees though are four or five years like engineering, architecture, medicine. Those are sometimes four or five, six years, but uh, any bachelor, general bachelor degrees are three years in Australia. So all these uh, degrees you are seeing here under the business courses are three years. And um, again, these are recognized all over the world and uh, very prestigious degrees. And the entry requirement is uh, if you're coming from the a level background, then you can see that uh, what are the point scores. If it is an IB background, then you can see what is the minimum entry requirement of this bachelor degrees. Or if you have your in specific country level, then certainly we can discuss those things uh, over the Q and A session. Or you can contact me later on. In engineering, we do have these courses that are popular areas, the engineering and IT, like Bachelor of Digital Business or Bachelor of IT, uh, especially uh, the new courses have come up like data science in IT or even cybersecurity, very popular. Uh, also, we do have those traditional courses like software technology or information system or web design. Under the Bachelor of Engineering, this university offers uh, electronics, electrical, mechanical, mechatronics, which is a combination of electronics and uh, mechanical, or even the software or telecommunication engineering. One highlight feature in the engineering, this degree is called honors, uh, and it's a four years degree. Then the, um, in the medicine and science, 
uh, Bachelor of Environment, Marine Science, or under the science, we do have over 30 different specialization like mathematics, physics, astronomy, biomolecular science, uh, biochemical uh, areas. Uh, whatever you think of, uh, all those science areas uh, comes under the Bachelor of Science degree. And uh, also we do have the Doctor of Medicine. It is actually a two plus four total six years course, you can say. From your country, if you like to come, you need to first come for a Bachelor of Clinical Science for two years. And then later on, you need to uh, appear for a test. Or we do have some special places where we can uh, offer you a bundle offer like Bachelor of Clinical Science leading to Doctor of Medicine. So these are the six years altogether. Now, apart from those areas, Macquarie University offers also the law, psychology, arts area, or media, or security studies, or even the teaching areas. So uh, I hope uh, you would be uh, looking, you can certainly look into our course index. Uh, the website is courses.mq.edu.au. Certainly feel free to have a look of our range of courses, what uh, in the undergraduate space university is offering. Um, on the other side, the, in the master's degree, again, please uh, feel free to go to uh, those uh, course links, or you might have a brochures from uh, your representatives. Feel free to have a look. But uh, yeah, the entry requirement for the master's degree is uh, uh, in our rating, we call it 4.5 CGPA out of seven, but that is a Australian way. In your country, I know that uh, your GPA scale is different. So uh, it all depends. If once you send out your documents, we recalculate your GPA scale with Macquarie University scale, and we put our GPA. So in that case, it should be four point minimum 4.5 five out of seven in most of our courses in master's degree. So apart from the academic entry requirement, we do need other requirement, which is uh, English requirement. Uh, most of the time we have seen that uh, from Middle East, you appear for ILTS test, or you can go for the PTE or TOEFL test, but ILTS is very popular. So that's why I put this slide as ILTS. And you can see that uh, it's having a uh, clearly mentioning what is the requirement for the Macquarie universities. Most of the masters and the bachelor degrees, uh, we need 6.5 with all the sub bands six or above. And uh, if it is even the PhD, very similar entry requirement, 6.5 with six uh, in sub bands. And we do offer uh, diploma courses leading to bachelor. Uh, and for that, uh, the requirement is six overall with all the sub bands 5.5 or above. And uh, also this university offers foundation course. Uh, if you like, foundation is like a year 12 equivalent uh, in your countries. So if you like to study at uh, Macquarie University, the year 12 equivalent prior going to your bachelor degree, certainly you can do so. Uh, through this foundation and for that foundation we need five minimum 5.5 overall uh, in ILTS uh, and minimum five in each of these sub bands in ILTS. Now uh, another part the third entry requirement for uh, any Australian university including Macquarie University is genuine temporary interest requirement uh, uh, so which means that we don't offer more than 10 to 20 weeks English course package offer, or we like to see that you are a genuine student, not more than one year study or work experience gap, or you never had a student visa refusals, uh, you always have a better grades. So these are the various uh, criteria we do check uh, as a genuine temporary entrance. And uh, so, yeah, this is the summary that being a, a foreign international student to study in Australian university, including the Macquarie University, you need to meet the academic requirement. And the second um, is English requirement. And the third one is genuine temporary entrance requirement. Our next intake, it's in mid-July uh, 2018. 
and we are still open for July intake. So through this session, I like to highlight that feel free to apply now even. Uh, so we are still open to offer you the admission and you can quickly lodge your visa and get the visa and come by around mid July for the next intake. We even take uh, predicted grades for bachelor degrees or even the master's degree. So you can certainly contact me or our admission team at the Macquarie University on these possibilities. However, if you couldn't come by July, then our following intake would be the mid-February 2019. The tuition fees you might already have looked uh, prior you apply. Um, the tuition fees at, in this university around thirty-five thousand dollar per year, and uh, in living expense, in of course uh, that thirty-five thousand per year, except the medicine area, of course. Uh, because the medicine is a bit expensive uh, in compared to other courses, not only in Macquarie, but any Australian university. Uh, the second cost you need to think about uh, living expense. Uh, it is around $21,000 per person yearly. So that also you need to consider uh, while uh, coming to Australia. Any country, any city uh, you come, um, you have to uh, officially, the Australian government has told uh, you that you have to bear the living expense, which is around uh, $21,000 per person. However, uh, the interesting fact is that here the students can work uh, part-time and lots of part-time jobs are there and uh, any international student can work 40 hours per fortnight uh, while they are studying. And during the student, while they are in holiday, they can work full time even. In Macquarie University, we have mainly two intakes, July and uh, February. And uh, the teaching terms, uh, the way it works, it's generally eight months of study and four months holiday. So during those four months, certainly you, as an international student, you can work unlimited hours. University is also very generous, offering lots of scholarships. One of the scholarships here I like to highlight is the first one I'd like to show you, our Macquarie University International College STEM scholarship. This is a science, technology, areas scholarship, and even the arts scholarship for foundation and diploma. Uh, here, uh, the university is offering $3,000 scholarship for all the students uh, who are having the unconditional offer letter. Another scholarship I like to highlight here uh, for the bachelor and the master's degree students is called uh, Vice Chancellor's International Scholarship. So uh, it's also in short, it's very popular for VCIs where the students can apply up to $10,000 a scholarship under the bachelor or the master's degree. Another uh, big scholarship uh, for Macquarie University for uh, the future bachelor degree students is called Vice Chancellor's International Scholarship Big History. Uh, here uh, we have limited numbers. However, whoever would win this scholarship, they would get 25% tuition fees waiver throughout the course. So please feel free to look into these options. Also, I'd like to highlight the higher degree research uh, area and its scholarship options like the MRES Master of Research and the PhD program scholarships. Uh, Macquarie University is offering for international students two types of scholarships. One is IRTP, another one IMQRES, where uh, all these uh, scholarships covers mainly the full tuition fees for three years PhD program or if you apply for a bundle offer, we have few limited number of one plus three years master of research and PhD program uh, scholarship as well. University also will give the candidate 27, approximately $27,000 per year living expense under these scholarships. So uh, the deadline uh, is 31st July, 2018 for February, 2019 semester. And you will find the link of to apply uh, for this scholarship and that mission uh, here in this in the last point here a uh, few of the pictures i like to show you uh, the accommodation which i informed you earlier uh, there are various types of accommodation shared accommodation 
uh, with uh, on suite, without on suite, shared uh, uh, with food or without food uh, facilities, kitchen facilities. So these are the few pictures. Uh, again, a uh, few more pictures and the facilities. For an example, the Macquarie University Village is very popular among the students I have found. Uh, yep. And lastly, I'd like to highlight, beside this academic requirement and the, all the infrastructure and all these facilities and the future careers, what other things the university offers you? This university would offer you free airport pickup uh, if you're the first timers, if you don't have anyone in Australia, no friends, no relatives, we are there to uh, bring you from airport to your accommodation. So just let us know seven days earlier that what is the flight number and our representative will be at the airport to receive you and to take you to our accommodation. Um, also, the university offers a full uh, suite range of uh, services like counseling service. We have the dedicated psychologist even if required. We do have the lots of other disability and welfare support for, under our campus well-being. Lots of student clubs are there. Uh, we do have the medical clinic on campus. Touch wood, you don't need to go, but certainly just letting you know that we have the facilities of the clinic and the um, hospital on campus uh, in case it required for you. Um, lots of support service like numeracy center, learning skill support workshops, uh, PAL, like peer assistant learning sessions or conversion classes uh, would be there on, on top of your regular classes. And all of these classes are free. And uh, nevertheless, career and employment services are great. Uh, we do have the career fairs uh, twice in a year where over 100 different companies come every career fair to share their information about their job placements. So our career service team always is helpful and share those information to our international students. So certainly you would get all these facilities while you will be studying at Macquarie University. So here is the time, uh, I had a long talk and now I'd like to take a few questions. If you have any question, I'm happy to answer uh, your inquiries. So I can see that uh, there are the few questions have come up. Uh, one, the first question is, do you provide any scholarship? So certainly uh, we do have uh, scholarships for your countries. Please check with your respective uh, partners, like you call them agents, they do know. Also, you can contact me personally because I need to know which country you are from, what is your CGPA, what is your ILTS score, then I can give uh, let you know that what are the exact scholarship for you. But the big answer is yes, Macquarie University offering very generous scholarship for all of its international students. Another question I can see, uh, how can I accept my offer? Is there any deadline to pay my commencement fee? An excellent question. Uh, certainly you can accept your offer uh, if you already have an unconditional offer letter from Macquarie University. If you do not have the unconditional offer, unfortunately you cannot accept your offer. So please talk to our admission team, talk to me, uh, send your inquiry, get an unconditional offer letter from us, and then uh, certainly in the unconditional offer letter, we explain you how to pay the commencement fee and how to apply for visa and get the confirmation of enrollment from the university. I can see um, another question. The scholarship program at Macquarie University offers sound amazing. Thank you. Thank you for the compliment. Uh, another question I can see, uh, is there any extra payment for facilities such as sport swimming? Yes, yeah, certainly. Uh, as you have seen in my uh, one of the slides, uh, we do have a huge uh, gymnasiums and aquatic centers. So certainly, uh, you can be part of our gym, mem you can have our gym mem membership for monthly basis. Uh, that has a, a student discount rate, or if you like to even use it for 
one of then also you will have that op options as well for the sports and the gym memberships now another question i can see that uh, how long does it take to get a visa so thank you so much it's a very important question when we are talking that our next intake is july more precisely the class is going to start the last week of uh, monday which is uh, uh, july 29th of july so certainly you as a student you need to attend one week before the class commencement which is uh, our orientation week so we expect all the students arrive ideally on campus by 20th july so you need to find out what is the time it takes to get the visa generally uh, as per the department of home affairs who is responsible for visa they uh, they have advised us that it might take up to uh, 60 days some countries even we have seen that visa comes within two to three days but some of the countries it might take uh, 30 to 40 or up to 60 days so just be aware of the criteria talk to us uh, we can certainly advise you depending on the country of your uh, citizenship country from where you are applying and then we can plan your next intake of enrollment another question i can see that uh, if i can't make it on time can i defer my course yeah that's the supplement uh, questions i would say if by any chance if you haven't got the visa on time and you couldn't come by end of july then there is our you can certainly uh, apply for the deferment uh, our admission team is more than happy to defer your admission for the following intake and the following intake would be if it is a diploma and foundation then it would be the in from october 2018 but if it is a full degree bachelor and the master's degree coursework then it would be february 2019 but yeah the answer is certainly you can defer your intake in case uh, there is any delay in the visa or any other personal circumstances you like to um, check for the next intake certainly that is yes uh, next question i can see that i have a offer in master of commerce in marketing is it possible to change a specialization during study in master of commerce or is it possible to change master of course based to research based uh, yeah very uh, good question uh, we do offer a course called master of commerce and it has a uh, uh, few specializations like finance accounting uh, human resource management marketing so yes uh, change of a specialization uh, we always prefer that before you apply you please make sure that what is the specialization uh, because sometimes uh, it might be difficult for you to change the specialization uh, because uh, when uh, you finish most of your areas under the say in this case you have asked for uh, say marketing say you have done most of the marketing units and then all of a sudden you like to switch to human resource management then you might miss out those areas of credits what you have studied so just be careful and we always advise that before you join uh, please select your specialization carefully also master of commerce most of the time um, you can even do double degrees so say you're coming for master of marketing but you also like to do master of business admins business management and organization as a second major uh, in, in a specialization so check with our uh, advisors sometimes that is also possible doing under the master of commerce having a double degree and the next question you were asking that is it possible to change the coursework masters to the research based uh, yes and no if it is a coursework uh, certainly it doesn't have the research component and master of research is a complete different program so uh, however if you finish the master's degree coursework the first year and then if you have a very good cgpa certainly you can apply for the research based degree as a second year uh, we because our master of research it is a two years course the first year is coursework uh, and the second year is research so if you have finished 
uh, the first year, the coursework areas, then there is a possibility to move into the second year master of research. But uh, again, we say that please uh, choose your degree before you come. Either you want to ending up in a master's coursework or master of research. The next question is, are there any places I can buy food from my own country near to the university? So yes, certainly lots of different uh, multinational uh, countries, students are there. We have over 100 different nationalities and uh, uh, you can buy lots of foods, different varieties. And uh, even we do have the Macquarie Shopping Center, which is just next to the university. So lots of ingredients, all the ingredients in the world, I would say that are available over there. And uh, you can certainly get those ingredients and make your own uh, country food. Why not? Uh, the next question, can I get credit for other course I have done in my country? Absolutely. Uh, certainly you can uh, do, uh, if you are going for a transferring student for your bachelor degree or master's degree and you already finished uh, equivalent level of uh, courses or subjects in your country, you can uh, apply and you can apply for the credit transfer. We call it recognition of prior learning and feel free to apply along with your application and we will get back to you with your offer letter outcome. Another question, uh, I'm from Iran. How many days I need to apply for visa to start in July? Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, one of the audience also uh, to ask this question. So it all depends on uh, the country of citizenship and from where you are applying. So uh, from Iran, I know that it might take uh, from 20 days to 30 or 40 days. So uh, if it is uh, end of May, if you still apply by end of May, I would say that certainly you can come for July. I would say that around till mid-June you can try and apply and uh, by mid-July you can certainly able to come. So I can certainly see that uh, there are no more questions. Uh, so certainly thank you so much for joining the session. I hope you uh, got some valuable information. But nevertheless, uh, the, uh, here is my contact details, uh, uh, tanvid.shahid at mq.edu.au. And my mobile number is there. It is also having a same number for the WhatsApp or Telegram or all the other uh, Viber and my direct number also this is. So feel free to connect me through uh, all these uh, various mode of the channels or uh, via email. I'm happy to answer your any questions uh, and we will take it further from there. So thank you again. Uh, so once again, very much uh, have a good day uh, wherever you are and uh, looking forward to see you at the campus uh, either in July or in February in the future. Thank you again, uh, stay well.